Hey guys, Nessie here and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be doing the final verdict from the products that we reviewed in um July. Um so yeah, hey to everyone that's new here. Hey to everyone that is visiting again. And um uh the ver verdict is where we do in this case it's like six products. Um but it's usually between four and five products that I review every month because I tend to get a lot of little things along the way or things that I have just had and have yet to try. So I give them a month about a month to try out. And um then I review them. That's pretty much it. Um thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff and we'll get into it let's see how am i going to approach this i am going to start with something that i actually emptied i put this as one but these are clearly two products this they are both from the same company and it is the um ancient cosmetics i'll start with this one and they're both turmeric based so there we are the ancient Co cosmetics healing glow turmeric body scrub there we are it was yellow i'll see if i can insert a picture from the old video and it is gone it also had shea butter in it and um sugar pure cane sugar avocado oil frankincense and um you smell the lemon extract and the um yeah that's both mainly what you smell when you get it but it's not very very strong um yeah and this is um like a handmade scrub i only bought this because these were five dollars at the time will i be repurchasing it um i i would but it's not it's not my favorite scrub because again something i like a the amount of shea butter and the oil that they put in it's not because it's not brown sugar i don't like brown sugar scrubs i like the one that is with the cane sugar that's a little coarser but not enough to tear up your skin um my favorites are the one from like um i like a, the from zip deep bath which is um it's a white owned company but they small it's a small independent company and she makes like whipped soaps with the sugar in it. I like that more so than I like this. It's just, it's just for its um te texture wise. But if you like the sugar, brown sugar scrubs, this would be for you. And another con another pro for it is that because it has turmeric and you know turmeric is supposed to have glow and brighten and all that stuff. Um that it doesn't but turmeric also stains. So, but with this, I did not get that. I will say the same thing for the perfectly even skin hyperpigmentation um, face wash. You only need a dab to do it. You see, I have hardly put a dent into it. And I actually, the pro for this is that, again, it does not stain your face. I have something from um, my butter bar that they have like a massive tumor in your face is has a kind of yellow tinge for like three days but that's okay because i'm putting on makeup too and or that you know i have some golden undertone somewhere in my face so that's not that bad um the perfectly even this is 15 dollars, and yeah you only need about a quarter amount like i said and um you're supposed to avoid your eyebrows because turmeric while it does um even out clear lighten and brighten um not lighten it's not a bleaching product so do that but like it does definitely even out your skin i do like this but um one i it is handmade so you're only gonna have this for like six months that's the only thing and i'm not gonna use a couple of drops of this and finish up the whole thing in six months because like this 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 um expires on christmas so the only thing with that and you're supposed to keep it in a cool dry place and out of sunlight like they tell you to do but you're not going to use up all of this i do like um that again it does not stain the face so i would get this again but it's not something i will rush out to buy either like if you don't um need it but if you have um kind of uneven skin tone problems i would say and you don't want to put too many chemicals don't want to put any chemicals on your face this will be good for you because it is all natural this one does it is shea butter based it's a lot of shea butter but i 
excuse me, I actually put a couple of drops of this with my um, CeraVe face wash. Just That's just a nice, gentle, everyday wash. I'm one for oily skin and this. It doesn't do anything for your oily skin. It doesn't do anything for dry skin. It does not give me any moisture. Well, it might give you a little moisture because it's got shea butter in it, but I don't need anything that's oil based but i think those um those oils in it help with the not staining of this Woo, that was wordy more wordy than i wanted to for that okay some and i'll have something that i okay the nars highlighter and the color albatross um with this that's how it looks and of course we had discussed before that even though it looks white it comes it's all it looks like that first kind of duochrome goldy thing. And I, for all the hype of this, this is not the highlighter for me. Um, I would, and I'm gonna end up putting it in my kit to use on someone else. It does have that shift to it, um, that gold shift, but this is really a highlighter for the pale babies. This isn't really, um, you can blend it down and it's more gold now, kind of gives you a sheen, but it does leave a bit of a cast. Um, and the shift isn't as strong as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's, yeah, it's more like a dual chrome than a multi chrome because like this was like had a gold, green, pink shift. I could maybe work with it more because that would be more colors that I wear, but you still have a cast problem. So this is not for my skin tone. But of course it's NARS, I mean it's a nice milk powder and all of that, but it's, it's good, it's not for me. No, I would not be purchasing it. I'm glad I got it from TJ Maxx and did not spend the full price on it, even though I can just take it back. So that's not that big of a deal, but you know, hey. All right, something else that I got from TJ Maxx is the um, Dr. Paul Paul's Tinted Peach Pink, uh, Peach, pink balm it's a multi-purpose balm that we talked about for um lips and cheeks and things like that and with this balm um i would not get this color again um not the colored one i think just for your all-purpose balm to and the color is the one thing that's that's making me not use it on other places because i really would want to use it as like just a you know when your hands get a little chapped well, actually, that's not too bad because the tint scared me. Okay, it's not bad, which is odd. Okay, so it didn't show up on my when I put it around my cuticle just now, but it shows up as a cheek tint. It shows up as a limp tint, but it really didn't when you rub it into like your hand. So that's good, but I still will want the original one. Um, it does not smell like anything. Yeah. It smells like, you know how oil smells, it's just a general smell, not an essential oil, just, that's it. That's how it is. I would be rushing out to get this, I would not have paid um, more than the $2.99 that I paid for it instead of the full price. So, um, yeah. But as far as the multi-purpose, like it's just, it's a nice lip balm. And let's see, is it, um, what is the base? It's olive oil based, so. It's a nice chapstick. <laughs> okay, something else that I um, I do like, but it still is not my favorite. It is the Prime Beauty Bronzers and Bronze Steel, which is their what they call their bronzers. And this is the medium shade. Um, they could use. I like this, and why it's not my favorite is because. I feel like they have three of them. I feel like there there can be a color between this and the deepest color, and that would be perfect for me. Like this is not as warm as I'm used to. It's a little um, brown or a little cool. It still looks fine. I still can work with it, but I still am more likely to reach for my Bobbi Brown or my Fenty as far as that color. But just like even with the Fenty. The Fenty could stand to have another color, cause the, the Fenty is a little a little too warm, but I can work with it. I don't have to use as much um, as I'm like using my Bobbi Brown. When I use the Bobbi Brown, um, like I have Bobbi Brown on today as my bronzer, and it does give me a nice warmth. 
the Fenty we've already discussed between the last three dark shades there could be some shades in between it's in particular between um Coco Nani and um something mommy the last two but I had the deepest one and like I'm a I'm just at a 400 so well 400 is my shade so it I actually could use one because the mocha mommy the one I end up getting is for people that are even supposed to be even further down in the 400s who are really dark I'm like a medium dark so there's that so um yeah it just could use another shade i like the formula it is it still does look nice it's just not my favorite i would get it again but again i want them um, for i like it for the price point like this is this is 20 dollars and i like i do like the way it looks but it could be i just need like a color in between the last two and that would be perfect but like i can work with it so that's that all right and last but not least, it is the Fenty Beauty um, Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trio. And I got the Trio Bait Watch. And that comes with your jalapeno, the Hot Tub Club, and Techno Beat. Techno Beat, Hot Tub Club, Jalapeno. All right. And so with these. This is um, hard to say, would I get it again as a set? Um, probably not, even though I'm looking for, I'll tell you what I'm looking for with these, and I said this in the other video. And actually, I only had an issue with one of them, and that's the jalapeno. The jalapeno is the only one, when you look at liquid, color liquid eyeliners, you're just making sure, something about the pigment in like the paler they are sometimes that's when they want to crackle and not be consistently like one line or you know break up when they dry and i had a little bit of that with the jalapeno it wasn't terrible as i've had it with some other like white ones that i've tried and you can build it up and it still dried down nice and it still looked okay um but for the price of these are like 36 even though I had a gift card so I didn't really pay my money I had a gift card and I was taking something back to Sephora so I didn't pay I didn't really pay nothing for it but still um the Techno Beat ended up being my favorite um it's a really nice it's a really nice color on my eye and I will still be taking these when I go on vacation because if you just want to do a simple little eye look with the colors on here that's a good one for you so um yeah but as i said like i really with all the sets i want to like mix and match them um that's the only thing with these is that they come in the trios and you do, you can't buy them individually i think but i thought that was some other products she's had before like when she does the christmas stuff and it also was last summer's something that they brought out it's like I don't want the whole this whole set. I want this individual one or I just want these two. I want to be able to make my own trio like I could make those on um make your own trio. Like with those matchsticks, you can make your own trio. So that would be nice. But yeah, I would have traded this out for another color and some of the other other ones. But they are beautiful. They are um all of that. Um even if this was, I could trade that out for the fly liner, that would have been cool too. So, but you can't always do what you want, so here you are, and that's, that's that on that. But, it would also be, I would also give this as a gift though. So it is a nice gift, and you may not have the issue that I've had, cause, but um, with eyeliner, particularly like colors and pale ones, it's kind of hard to find one that doesn't um, crack a bit. And the cracking wasn't even bad on this. So, and it didn't skip. So that's another one too. Um, with eyeliner, with liquid eyeliner period, you don't want it to skip and um, settle bad in your skin when it dries. It didn't do that. So it's still a nice formula, but just something about that because the color makes it crack. Okay, now this has been Chatty. And I'm gonna try to end it. We're gonna try to get out of here at under 15. Looks like we're doing well. Um, so you know, I'll try some for the next month 
still trying to do keep up with these videos between makeup and pop culture. That's what I'm doing the beauty and pop culture. Um, I like some, I might want to do some more getting to know you videos. I hadn't done those in a while. I know it was supposed to be like a weekly theme. That was too much. Maybe like a monthly or a quarterly to get back to those because I love the tags. Um, to do those and those were easy videos and that let me work on some of my editing skills. Alright, I'm talking too much. I'm about to go over the time. Um, remember, thank you. Um, well, thank you for tuning in and remember that Nessie loves you. If there's any products you want to see, let me know in the comments. If you've tried any of this, let me know. Um, yeah, and y'all have a good blessed day. Bye!